Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a derivation and to find out the strain energy and the deflection in the simply supported beam if the point load is acting on the center. Let us read the question one time. Determine the strain energy in a simply supported beam having a point load W at the center. Also find the deflection under the load. Take the span of the beam as L. Using the data, we can draw the diagram. The point load W is acting on the center. The span of the beam is given as L. Let us make the points A and B in the ends of the beam. In the center, let us make the point C. In this simply supported beam, we can easily calculate the reactions. Because the point load is acting on the center, it is symmetrical. So, Ra is equal to Rb is equal to the total load by 2. Here the total load is W. So, W by 2. Now, let us calculate the strain energy. To calculate the strain energy, we have to make two sections. One before the point load and one after the point load. So, let us separate the strain energy into two parts u1 and u2 the total strain energy will be equal to u1 plus u2 for u1 and u2 let us make the integrations we know the formula for strain energy 1 by 2 ei into integration of m square dx here we are having two parts one before the point load and one after the point load the limits for the first part will be 0 to l by 2 the limit for the second part also 0 to L by 2. For the first part, we have to start from the left side. For the second part, we have to start from the right side. Here, we are having one advantage. Because on both of the sides, we are having symmetrical values. So, both of these values will be equal. So, we don't have to make two integration. We have to make any one of the integration and multiply by 2. So let us take this integration and multiply by 2. Here 2 by 2 will be eliminated. The final formula for strain energy is u is equal to 1 by ei into integration of 0 to l by 2 m1 square dx. Now let us make the section xx at the distance of x. Let us calculate M1, which is equal to Ra into X. We are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is X. So Ra into X. We have already calculated Ra, that is W by 2. In this formula, we can apply M1. We can take the constants outside, W by 2 is the constant, W by 2 the whole square is equal to W square by 4. Now let us make the integration. For X square the integration is X power 3 by 3. After that we can apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit 0 because the whole term will become 0. Only apply the upper limit. When we apply L by 2 for X, we will get L cube by 8. Finally, we are getting U is equal to W square L power 3 by 96 EI. We know that work done by the load is equal to half into W into YC. YC is the deflection in the point C. Now, we can equate the strain energy and the work done by the load. We have already got the strain energy and the work done by the load. We can take W by 2 on the left side. It will come in the left side as 2 by W. Now we can cut this square and W and 2 and 96. Finally we are getting YC is equal to W L power 3 divided by 48 EI. We know that YC is the deflection in the point C. In the question, we have been asked 
to find out the strain energy and the deflection under the load we have calculated both of them now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video